am about to break your limit. Welcome to Break the Limit. I'm your host, Paul Chrysalam. Today, we continue with our series on personal development. In today's episode, we are going to be discussing undecided people. Undecided, as the name suggests, are those that have not made a decision concerning you yet. They are still on the fence concerning you or your organization. They are watching, waiting to see where you're going. They are your secret spectators. They may be invisible to you, but to to them you are visible. Undecided people are undecided for a few reasons. For the sake of time, we will outline only two of them. Reason number one, those that are undecided because they're unsure of you, they're checking you out. Maybe they saw or heard good things about you or what you're offering what you stand for but it seems good to be true they may have had negative experiences with similar people organization that made them skeptic of you or what you're offering they undecided because they are trying to ascertain whether you're worth the hype or not many undecided because they have seen some messed up things messed up things that cause them to build up walls. The wall usually is there to insulate them from further disappointment. They are careful not to dive in with head first. Now, let me pause and insert this. When such people make a decision to walk or to follow you, they can become a great addition to your organization. Now, Secondly, they are undecided based on bad intel. Now, bad publicity is one of the worst things that can happen to you or your organization. No matter how good you are, there will always be those that don't like you. Now, come to terms with that. They may not like you because of one thing or the other. Some may dislike you to an extent that they will do everything in their power to spread that same hatred they have, spread that same hatred of you or organization to others. These are the kinds of people or entities that spread disinformation or misinformation to your potential helpers or associates, etc. etc. It's one of the many reasons why some people are still undecided or have not yet made their decision about you. This is also one of the reasons why they are holding back from joining or helping you. They are undecided based on information they receive from third parties, people that claim to know you, that claim to know everything about you, people that think that they know you. Now, you you may want to ask me, uh, Paul, what should I do in such a situation? I would suggest a few things. Firstly, be yourself. Don't try to change you to fit into the image of your detractors. It may work for a while, but will eventually backfire. If they don't like you for who you are, they may never like you for who you are you may pretend to be in order to suit the image of you. Now, this is where I pause to insert this again. If you are the cause of them being undecided, something that they saw in you that turned them off, or, 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 or something that you gave to your critic, a weapon that they're using against you, work on yourself. Become the best version of you and everything else will fall into place. Because your future will always be brighter than your past. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18 says it like this. The path of the righteous is like the morning, it's like the morning sun shining ever brighter to the full light of day. Secondly, second suggestion I want to make to you. You must create an avenue for the undecided or, or healing form to get the truth or fact about you or your organization. And let them decide for themselves. Don't force them. Let them decide based on fact. No one stays undecided for long if they are presented with the proper information about a thing. No sensible person can make a wrong decision if they are exposed to the truth. Realize that you have only you have only had one life or one life to live. Live it to the fullest and don't leave it at the mercy of your enemy. God bless you.